behind you while you do it. All right, Gage, I'm gonna try to get him in that corner. Literally the last <laughs> one, too. <laughs> Your heart sure is painful, sweetie. It does. Let you go. There you go. <laughs> oh! They're too fast. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? <laughs> I think Abby's filming too. She is. <laughs> This video contains, uh, of course, butchering chickens and processing. So if, th if you're a little squeamish or that's not for you, please go ahead and turn it off right now. We've got the chickens there. We'll make their way to kill cones. To a cold bath. Warm bath. Scald it. To the plucker. From the plucker to the table. From the table to the cooler. Getting ready. What a couple Sundays ago, when he was talking about you know, running around with chickens, take it off. Like, as long as they don't do that, I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but, if, but if one comes after me, <laughs> well, then take it off. I guess as ready as I'm ever going to be. Very thankful for for an extra set of helping hands today. That's right. So our friend Cherish has come to help us, and we are very very thankful for that. We're gonna fix her up with some goodies to go home with, and some chicken. Started is about 1:30, a little bit later than we thought. We're gonna start. We'll walk through a step by step process of what we do, and uh, guide you along all the way. What you're saying is I'm the only one that can hold a chicken. This video is not for you if you don't like blood, so beware. There is life loss of life in this video. chicken is done bleeding out and what we have decided to do is we've got a little bucket here and since it's been wet I mean it stormed yesterday so they were really nasty and I have just been dropping them down in this little container that's got some water in there and just kind of rinsing them off a little bit because this water is a whole lot easier to change out than our water here now I need to drop them down into the scalding water I'll hold the bird here for 45 seconds and then we'll go to our plucker we have to make sure that the whole bird is submerged under water the temperature of this water needs to be between 145 and 150 degrees if for any reason the water gets any hotter the skin will um, basically get beat off in the plucker and if it gets not hot enough, you'll come out with feathers on. So the temperature we have learned is very, very important. Between 145 and 50 is where you wanna be.
thing that you will notice is we have a bucket down here that's catching our feathers. Those feathers, we have been walking each time that gets full, we have been walking to the compost and dumping that in our compost. And we have had stations set up. Um, the boys are gone because they haven't been needed, which we're just gonna call them back. But um, the boys have been jumping in and getting our birds. Then we have our kill station. Then we have our cleaning station and then the scald station the plucker station, and then they come to Colby. All right, so we've got it uh, ready to go. Now, a few things, you could go ahead and remove the head when you're on the cone. Uh, pretty much, uh, some people will just, just cut just the, the artery like we do, or the vein. Uh, but if you choose to go ahead and, and, and take his head off, you can. Um, because sometimes if you go in the plugger, sometimes it can uh, get it so loose that it's almost off there. Uh, now we don't we don't sever the head; we just pull it off. That way, we don't have any kind of bone particles going up there. Uh, also, on the feet, you just want to make sure that you find where that bone is. Pretty much, you can break this if you choose to, but I just make a cut right there, and you see where the bones separate, just like the bottom of a chicken leg that you get anywhere. I see it right there. You never even have to touch anything but the cartilage, and you're done. Other leg, same way. What are you throwing it in? Uh, we we have a, a pig bucket basically. Um, we don't we I don't frown upon me, but we don't keep just about anything entered wise. We we just don't eat them. So what we do is we're putting it all together. We'll give some to the pigs. Uh, our feeder pigs. We have five feeder pigs, of course. Y'all know, uh, bacon one, two, three, four, and five, and we will give them to them. So anyways, that's let's we've got the the legs off. So the head basically we'll just basically grab it, and it just comes right off. Goes in the bucket, and that way you don't have to worry about it. Uh, get a little, I think a little head right there on your. You have something on your face right there. You're real cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically what you want to do, you see, there's the windpipe. That's okay. We're fisting to get it out anyway. But right there, on, right where the breasts are, pull your skin up. The main thing is make sure you cut in there, but don't cut deep where you cut anything. Uh, right here is where you're going to get the crop. The windpipe and basically the esophagus and the trachea all that's right here you just want to loosen it away from the neck and away from the breastbone so that way when you come out the back you'll be able to get it all out of there now here's here's two again just explain it to you some people will go in and grab the crawl or the crop get all this out and go and cut it you can do that there's no wrong way of doing that but if your crop has got something in it then it gets back in your bird and you're pulling it all the way through so if you can keep it together it's better to keep it together than pull it through and then there's nothing actually touching your bird other than it pulling straight through uh, with the the rest of the innards out so of course you got the neck there's the uh, windpipe there's the crop the crop is right on the actual breast and the breastbone right there on the ribs so that's what's really full with food if you have not let your birds get a diet Basically, you want to take it and just work your finger right underneath it. And we did keep ours off of food so that while we were doing this process, or excuse me, Colby was doing this process, it would just be cleaner. So we have withheld food for the past few hours, 24 hours. All right, so you have your neck right here, and you have, there's your crop, your windpipe, your trachea is right there. So that's all hanging right there. Now, you can go ahead and cut it. Like I said, I've seen some people go ahead and just cut all that off. If you do, just remember, you're going to be pulling that still out the back of the bird. So if there is any contaminant there, then it's going to get back in your inside of your bird. It just makes it a messy process. All right, neck. We don't keep necks. Um, not that you can't. But uh, you can either cut it now. I like to wait because I don't want to cut this. So I'll pull it out and cut it in a little bit. But So we've got this ready. Now let's rotate the bird back around right here same way you don't want to cut right here on the bone but you want to come right between it there's a feather right there let me get that so you want to just grab it up same thing you don't want to get inside your cavity with your knife but you just want to cut a slit or you can work to push into your cavity so like say if you well let me go a little bit deeper i'm gonna cut into it and then i'm gonna use my finger and just work it in All right, so now what you want to do, 
here's here's a few things too if you want to keep as much meat if you're selling this bird or you're wanting to keep as much meat as you can this is one of our smaller ones but say you were keeping all this this tailbone right here this right here is what they call the oil sack you would just kind of rub your knife right under there and cut it off we don't keep the tail so we're going to go and just cut it off when we actually do the rest of the, the evisceration another thing if you want to go and take your tail off which you don't have to but you can just make your cut right here and then you'll come back and cut right on each side again it's just extra steps that i personally don't don't care to do um, basically when you come in what i do is take three fingers and just kind of work it off its breastbone and that way you have nothing connecting up top just like that so we worked it all off and then i'm gonna get all my hand in there and just pull and just work it down now remember there's your main organs we'll get them out and show you what we got if you choose to keep them you can and then we'll show you to get the esophagus out from up top too all right so there's the main organs and i'm gonna pull this on through this is the windpipe you ready to eat this... chicken tonight uh, i don't want to see a chicken for a while <laughs> So we're going to get this out and there's the rest of the, the pipe coming up that's actually that we cut up top and then we'll work the rest of it out there it is all right so that was the crop now say that was full or it had a contaminant in there if you would have cut it right here then guess what all of this would have went through your bird not that it's a big deal that means you've got more cleaning to do so pretty much you got everything out the only things you really got to come back in here for is uh them lungs out yep get the lungs out sometimes if your windpipe doesn't want to come out you can just pull it back out of the head there okay so we're gonna come in i might have got some of the lung right there i felt it joel says you use your fingernails and then yeah i use gloves a lot of people don't <laughs> use gloves they think they can't feel as good i think i can feel just fine <laughs> all right so you got that so you're gonna make three cuts basically left first i'll show you this there's the liver look how beautiful that liver is now if you're gonna keep it there's the gallbladder just basically right take under it. it too that's right that's the gallbladder that green uh don't bust that if you do it's just a mess especially if you bust in your bird you're not going to eat that that's going to be thrown away there's your heart that's your heart liver of course and that litter i kind of hurt that liver uh here's your your gizzard remember your gizzard it's it's hard and uh, has, it feels like collagen what you're going to do is if you want to keep that you take it you're going to split it inside is it's basically uh it's going to have all the grit and food in it it's going to be really nasty so you have to clean that out then you have to pull the collagen uh layer off so it's a lot to it you got to really want to eat a gizzard uh, I, i'm gonna let y'all have that so we're gonna make sure everything's out so what we're gonna do is just make a cut here on one side now they call this the vent of the bird, right? That's, that's your vent. That's basically, so I'm gonna cut the tail, I'm gonna cut the vent, and then I'm cutting the oil gland off too at the same time. You know, Aiden studied in school that the technical name for that is a preen gland. P-R-E-E-N. All right, so make the last cut. So you never had to go through bone because there's your bone connecting to the connective tissue. And of course, I'm gonna all that way so now you've got a bird now what i do is we've been just going through and just kind of making sure i have every little thing because sometimes stuff you know just gets in there connective tissue uh, i'd rather not fry it or grill it and have connective tissue in my teeth so i'm gonna go ahead and try to get it all out okay that's pretty gross <laughs> <laughs> so it's all out now all this right here i'm gonna show you this i'm gonna go ahead and cut this extra skin off because we do not keep the neck bone so i'm gonna cut this off and then what I do, instead of making my, my uh, knife hit nasty, I'm going to cut the top of the neck off. And we'll cut the rest off when we actually debone it. There's the neck bone. Alright, so last thing to do is just actually wash it. And we're done. Thank you, you're a cleaner. Alright, we're done. We finished up. It took us about two, two and a half hours. Um, we, 22, 22 birds. 22. Um, but I tell you, we... we you know, we, we knew this day was coming. It was actually, to me, it was a lot easier than we, what I thought. What about you? I thought it was easier than what we expected, for sure. All right, so cheers but for the big helper, too. I will say, <laughs> yeah. if we did not have our extra set of helping hands, we would have been well after dark. All right, so tell us what you thought about this whole process, because this is not something that <laughs> your husband probably thought no, you were nuts. He, so. My husband thinks I'm crazy, so I didn't really know what to expect. I just thought it was a really good opportunity to help. And um, I will definitely never look at a bird the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're also I don't eat... think we will look at birds no. the same. I think we're eating fried chicken nuggets tonight, though. Not so. tonight. Not tonight? <laughs> okay. No. 
Well, we're getting done wrapping up, cleaning up, and then we're going to bag, and we'll be finished for the day. Happy homesteading, y'all. Happy homesteading, y'all.